Hey, what's up, Libra? Welcome to Black Madonna HP's Table Etiquette. Hope you guys have been doing great. I missed you guys. Coming to bring you um, a message. See what's been going on with you guys. It's been a minute, so bear with me. I'm trying to get back on track as far as reading. But uh, let's go ahead, Libra, and tap into your energy. So I'm getting that Beyonce song, Signs, Capricorn, Pisces, Aquarius, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer. Let's see what's up. What's going on with the Libras? What's going on with the Libras? Wow. Temptation, sadness, and cycles. You know what's interesting, Libra, is I'm not sure if you have a twin flame or you deal with a twin flame type energy, but um, there's like this connection that you have right and for some reason it's so hard for you to let it go I mean I feel like there's times when you're just not doing anything right not thinking about this person that you know not trying to think about this person and this person just comes to your mind right and I feel like that's because th when you, this person is thinking about you is when you think about them and vice versa. So there's like this, what they will call 5D communication that's going on back and forth between you and this person. What's crazy though, is I feel like you guys pick up on each other energy all the time. Like with this sadness card, because it's a picture that's painted, I don't feel like it's your energy because I'm looking at the paint, um, I forget what they call that. But I'm looking at, that's not an easel. I forget what it's called. But um, I'm looking at that and I see that this is a picture that's painted of you. Maybe when you be feeling this way, this isn't even your emotions that you're picking up on. You may be picking up a lot on your um, person's emotions and feelings at times when they're sad, when they're happy, when they're depressed, um, when they're lonely, when they're missing you. Like these are the times when your feelings seem to be intensified, right? And as these intense feeling feel like they, they bottle up inside you, either you reach out and call this person or this person reaches out and call you. But I feel like it's this intense kind of um connection that you have with this person but i see that this has been going on for a long time and unfortunately it seemed like you haven't been able to move forward no matter how hard you try something just keeps pulling you back to this person you know the really sad part about it is i feel like the the feelings are mutual but for some reason i feel like you're dealing with a very immature energy Someone who's not quite ready to take that step and to what we would call change their life to be with someone. This is a person I feel like that has a very page mindset, but may walk around in like an emperor's energy. But let's see what's up. Let's see the message that beloved has for you. You could be dealing with a um, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Heavy Taurus and Virgo. I'm sorry. Heavy Taurus and Capricorn energy is showing up in your reading. What's going on with uh, Libra and their person? The Magician. So this is a manifestation energy. Someone... This is what I feel like is happening subconsciously. All this thinking that you do, all this thinking that this person does regarding you, okay? 
Page of Swords, Nine of Wands, King of Cups, The Star, The Eight of Swords, The Eight of Wands. I'm trying to get all these in here. The Six of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. It's reiterating what I said, Libra. It's this energy between you and this person that's so strong. Like I said, this is someone who thinks about you a lot, Libra, right? But this person knows that they're not right. They try to they try to be this person that doesn't wear their heart on their sleeve. It may be very hard to get this person to express their feelings and emotions. But they're there. And these feelings are so strong. This is what happens when you guys are communicating in the 5D. There is a lot of things going on back and forth. A lot of emotional transfers being done within the um, 3D from the 5D. With this person being in their head like this about you. And thinking about you like this. It's, it's ironic that they will want to change to better them their life to better themselves because while they're sitting here and they're doing all this thinking about you it's hitting you right you're feeling it you're feeling the sadness you're feeling their pain you're feeling all this stuff right but this person still wants to play the field they still want to have their cake and eat it too they still want to like be someone who they once were instead of growing and maturing into this person that you want them or need them to be right like i said you could be these are the moments the most when you're not focused on them these are the moments when these um when these uh these arrows these wands hit you the most when you're trying to focus on other things and you're wondering why the hell do i feel like this because this person cannot seem to get you off their mind. I promise you, they show up like this, right? They show up real strong like an emperor, but with a page mindset. Like, they're not going to tell you, Libra, I thought about you all today. You know, I was on your social media page. You know, I thought about texting you or calling you today. They're not going to do that. But instead, they're always like... It's like you're always on this person's mind, though. That's what's crazy. You're always on their mind, but they are so trying to hide it from you. And to be honest with you, I don't think they're being true to themselves. Because they don't try to express these emotions to you. As The more they try to bury these emotions that they feel for you, the harder it gets for them. So this person, when they see you or something, they might come off real angry or mean or something. And when they're mean to you, it's just because they can't stop thinking about you and they're wondering why. How does this person feel about Libra? Yeah. Exactly. Like they know that you could be something so good in their life. They know that you can bring like positive energy positive vibes positive flow in their life like you were something that like they were looking for in life but this resistance this hesitant comes from them not wanting to change for you right but they mad as it like i said when you see them like this libra when you see this resentful energy that comes towards you or what have you, it's not because they mad at you. It's not because they angry at you. It's because they cannot get you off their damn mind and it's so irritating to them. Because they're sitting there, they're wondering, why the hell can I get Libra off my mind? Why am I always thinking about Libra? I'm so tired of thinking about Libra. Every time I turn around, why? Like, what's wrong with me? I don't be doing this. Ah, and all that type of stuff, right? What else does Libra need to know about this person? What else? But that's why they come up. Look at this. Even at the bottom of the deck, trapped. The, this trapped card is the equivalent of this Eight of Swords. Like, and then to add insult to injury, it gets worse because they feel hopeless. Because they cannot get you off their damn mind. Honestly. Like I said, you think it's you that be sad and be depressed and all that? 
it's this person and they do not understand why they don't understand why they're going through what they're going through that's why i say if you're not dealing with the twin flame you definitely dealing with something like it what else does libra need to know about this person please what else does libra need to know about this person This person tries to um This person tries to date other people to get you off that mind their mind, but even that doesn't work. Yeah. They can't get out their head, I'm telling you. All on social media, like I said, watching you some type of way, somehow. Like if they're with somebody else or there's someone else that they're around, they ain't paying that person no attention. They know what they got. They know that you're just something different. Like you showed up out of nowhere, right? Wow. But trapped in their own little mental prison. Wondering, why the hell do I feel like this about Libra? Why? Why can't I stop thinking about Libra? What's wrong with me? So let's go ahead and get a message closed after reading Libra. Dear you, oh my, things are stirred up and changes upon you. This is a cause for celebration. No need to be nervous, but know that it's okay to be afraid when faced with the uncertainties of life. The funny thing is that courage doesn't get mustered in the absence of fear, rather in spite of it, or even because of it. Step into the unknown now. Let go of the branches you are clinging to and let spirit take the will and help steer you to your highest good and most wonderful adventure. All you need to concern yourself with is choosing courage as your ally. Leave the rest up to us. There's a load of miracles being shipped your way. Remember what philosopher Joseph Campbell said. Take one step towards the gods, and they will take ten towards you. We're all doing the destiny cha-cha on your behalf. That's right. Don't be afraid to dance. Love you always. So, yeah, Libra, your person's having a rough time, which in turn is making you have a rough time. And uh, I'm hoping that things get better for you guys. Okay, Libra. But either way, that's the message I have for you. I thank you so much for tapping into Black Madonna HP's Table Etiquettes. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, love, peace, and so. Take care.